Caitlin f- Bennett, the gun girl. No one takes this girl serious. I don't know how she goes out in public safely. If you've been on the internet for more than a few years, you've probably heard the name Logan Paul before. And probably not for good reasons. Logan is a YouTuber with 20 million subscribers and the IQ of a goldfish. And I hate to inform everybody that after meeting him, I've come to realize that he is all the bad things that the internet has said about him. And he has no balls. That's scary. That's yeah. scary. That's, no, that's safe. A year ago, I was invited out to LA to go on Logan Paul's YouTube podcast, Impulsive. This was a rather strange invite because Logan Paul is not a political content creator, but because I was constantly going viral on social media, Logan and his team wanted to use my name to get clicks for their podcast. And by the way, before we get into this juicy story, if you want to support my work, please go to patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. If you sign up, you can receive super cool perks such as an autographed photo and even have your name in the description of every YouTube video. And while you're here, hit that notification bell so you'll get a reminder every time we get out a new video. Now, for those of you who don't know much about Logan Paul, he grew up here in Ohio, just like I did, and is well known around the area. Him and his brother, Jake Paul, became popular online after becoming famous on Vine and subsequently making YouTube channels. I have friends who went to high school with the two of them that tried to talk me out of going on his show because I said Logan is not a good person. But I went on anyway because I didn't want to judge a person by what others say, since I had that same thing happen to me all of the time. I think there's a lot of lies out there about you or misconceptions about you, and there's a lot of that about me too. So when people were like, don't go out there, he's X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, you do realize that people view me like that too. So I went on thinking it would be like, all of their other podcasts. They bring guests on to have fun with them, ask them about their lives, and play some of their videos. But I got a totally different treatment, and I'm not sure if it was because his co-host wanted to bring me out there to berate me for my views, or if Logan was just too hungover to take command of his own show. What happened last night? Nonetheless, that's what the show turned into, and from the beginning to end, it was the Mike Majlak show, as Logan's babysitter took the opportunity to get mad at me for an hour and a half because I support the Second Amendment. Do you currently own an AR-10 or a long barrel uh, semi-automatic weapon? Yes. Okay. Why do you, why do you feel the need to own that level of <clears throat> firepower? <clears throat> because I want to. But it's your a property. automatic weapon that was re revised mm -hmm. bump stock. That's revi not an automatic okay. weapon. Well, it's not an automatic, sorry, here we, I'm, I'm trying. What is a bump best. stock? It is a, a piece of, call it technology, call it Plastic. mechanical device that is used to turn a semi-automatic weapon. No, it's not? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Bump stock no. is a modification, a modification that you put on. It doesn't turn the firearm into anything. Oh, it's and you it can do you, it. It gives you the ability to ha to fire the weapon fast. To bump fire, fine, but you fine. can do that with right, a rubber right, right. band. You can right. do that with a finger. You can do that with a belt loop. Are we gonna ban all those? They thought they could bring me on and own me on the subject I'm most knowledgeable about. But unfortunately for them, everyone who watched the podcast thought it was embarrassing for them that a five foot four girl was standing up to three wimpy men afraid of guns. That's scary. That's scary. It's, no, that's safe. No, it's, but that's your opinion. Why do you need a, a magazine that holds more than five rounds? So what if 10 people are coming in your house to rob you? I was gonna say, I mean, but those were times when people were fighting with muskets. Right, times have changed. In fact, when I threw statistics at them, they thought they could own me by trying to fact check me, only to admit that my statistics were right. They have a 95% fail rate. They don't do their job 95% of the time. They're always stealing stuff. Where's that uh, data from? <clears throat> because that, would, that seems like it would equal out to be a lot of problems on the <clears throat> aircraft uh, if 95% of the their job was a failure. Just fact check, the Department of Homeland Security did indeed do a private uh, screening to find out that 95% of uh, things are missed by the TSA. Clearly Logan Paul's podcast with me did not go how they planned and they weren't expecting me to make them look like the fools. Mike really should have done more homework on me before trying to debate me because his feelings are no match for good old facts. We have more than 20,000 gun laws on the book. They're, 
it's ca calling something that's ineffective in its execution useless is is, is well, wouldn't that futile. be the definition of useless if if we can't execute something it's not that we can't we just haven't done a good enough job of so it. what do we do we need to do a better job of it now if you think i'm kidding when i called mike logan's babysitter I'm not. Mike Majlack was literally hired by Logan Paul to be his personal babysitter to make sure that Logan doesn't get into any more trouble. After his reputation took a big hit for filming a dead body in Japan in 2017, Mike is a 35 year old man who acts like a teenage boy and lives vicariously through Logan Paul's fame. Logan lets Mike live in his house and literally gets him porn stars for his birthday. It is my friend, Hey Big Mike's 34th birthday. I'm gonna be honest, it's actually is 35th. I did some thinking and there is one thing that Mike loves more than anything. Porn stars. Porn stars. Porn stars. That's my friend Lana. I know she is! <laughs> this is the best gift. My mom never got me anything like this. So. This hypocrite who spent an hour and a half yelling at me for supporting my right to own an AR-15 then went to Virginia with Logan Paul to shoot fully automatic M16 rifles. This gun is probably 300 pounds. Just a lot of extra added weight to my body. That is gonna make this extremely, extremely difficult. Why do you feel the need to use that kind of firepower, Mike? Did you pass a background check before shooting that? Why do you feel the need to own that level? Firepower. These are the types of people Logan and Mike are. They live degenerate lives and will do absolutely anything to get clicks on the internet. Which is exactly why Logan Paul wound up filming a dead body in a forest. I wanted to give Logan the benefit of the doubt, but clearly he hasn't changed since his mishap a few years ago. And his personality is as trashy as his classmates say it is. After I started going viral again last month because people on Twitter started snipping up clips from my YouTube videos, Logan and Mike used the opportunity to try to use my name for clicks once again. Caitlin F Bennett, the gun girl. They brought me on their show when I was going viral and waited a whole year for me to go viral once again to this time trash me and delete my podcast with them. I'm actually going to remove the Caitlin Bennett video right now. She's the first guest that I'll say, like, I'm ashamed that I had her on this show. And for that reason, I'm deleting the episode with Caitlin Bennett, the gun girl. I'm apparently the worst guest they've ever brought on their show. Meanwhile, they've brought on porn stars, oh, uh -huh. drug addicts, and even people accused of rape. If Logan is going to believe every bad thing said about me, then he should 100% believe accusations like that and probably delete their podcast, right? Logan should also probably delete his podcast with Alex Jones since I'm the one that set up the interview, which means he should delete his interview with Ben Shapiro since he only brought him on after seeing how many views his show's got with me and Alex. And like everybody else, Logan and Mike go on to lie about me to his millions of subscribers over things that can very easily be debunked. The reason she's viral right now, she just went to the gay pride parade to ask leading questions to cause a f scene. No, I didn't. I went nine months ago. You just saw it now on Twitter. You may have seen this on Twitter. She had an interaction with a cop at the at the Pride Parade. So this is like a two-minute interaction mm -hmm. of her just just poking the cop. Nope. It's 18 minutes. You just saw two minutes because that's what people clipped up. By the way, kudos to this cop. He crushed. He's a, he's a fucking hero. You should hero. go watch this he's entire scene. It's actually about five minutes long. This is a two-minute clip of it. I watched the entire scene last night. You guys aren't even good at trying to be dishonest. Again, 18 minutes long. But you're right, Mike. You should go watch the entire video. Look it up on our channel. It's called Pride Gets Peaceful. I got shoved and mobbed for simply existing. I got pushed. I got pushed. Everybody join in. Join in. Make a circle. Don't this scum. This scum. This scum. And the cop lied about me needing a press pass lied about me antagonizing people, and lied about needing to take my camera as evidence if I wanted to file a report. You don't have a press pass, you can't interview people in here. If you don't have a press pass, I would prefer you to stop doing this. But I don't have to. I didn't say you had to, I would ask you I prefer you. You don't have a press pass, you can't interview people in here. You understand that you're disturbing people, correct? I'm not disturbing you anybody. Are, Can I, I tell me, you something no, Let me tell you something. If we have any more complaints about your behavior tonight, you're gonna end up being in trouble. Thank I you. am a victim of disorderly conduct. What's that? We have, I have video been... for being assaulted. Okay. Would they... you like me to make a report about you being assaulted? Shut up. 
Michael have the footage on there? I don't know if he has the footage I'm not going to look at any footage. I will send it to a detective, so I'll have to take the camera and put it I on do. property. This happens to me enough to know. And actually happened again the next day in the same state. All the cops ever need as evidence is to see the footage, not take the camera. All right, the uh, suspect's got a blue jacket, a black backpack on, and it's got a white printed shirt. So yeah, kudos to this cop for crushing the First Amendment. Why is Caitlin Bennett, gun girl, at the Pride Parade? Why is she you, there? Well, you know why. We know why she's there to poke people and to get a reaction. Actually, I was there to ask people if they support Donald Trump's initiative to decriminalize being gay all over the world and had a good conversation with a lot of people. In his acceptance speech, he's the only president ever to mention LGBTQ people. I didn't know that. I feel like it's about time. I mean, someone needs to do it, so. And Trump is the guy that did it. I, I do see Trump. He is a very strong candidate, and like, I would not be surprised if he, if he won, I wouldn't be surprised. You didn't come across that video though, did you, Mike? What you don't see is the first th three hours of her being there berating people who are celebrating their their livelihood and their and their gay pride. You're right, Mike. You don't see it because that never happened. I also wasn't even there for three hours. Why don't you show everyone what really happened if you say you've watched it? Why don't you show how I was treated so poorly that people stepped in to defend me against their own friends who were being violent? I shouted the Second Amendment because that's the beliefs I have, but I draw the line of assaulting you. I'm not gonna have you be assaulted while I'm just standing here. Go no away. way. Don't. No one wants it here. You're no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, right, because that would go against your narrative about me being the worst person in the world. She could remold her narrative and start to say things and act in a civil f way. And she's not doing, she's antagonizing gay and lesbian. Well, that's ironic considering Logan had to apologize to the LGBT community for joking that he was going to go gay for a month. At least I'm strong enough in my convictions and my actions to never apologize to the outrage mob. No one takes this girl serious. I don't know how she goes out in public safely. I, I have no, idea. probably because she always has a camera on her. She's probably carrying. You're right, Logan. I don't know how either, considering people like you put my safety at risk because you feel the need to lie about me, which results in incidents like this that you complain about and accuse me of provoking. The reason she does it is for this, is for this discourse yeah. to happen on this show and for her to get another 1 million views mm. and for people to talk about it. Now look at the projecting that's going on here. He says my goal in all of this is to get people mad so I can go viral when they are the ones lying about me to try to get views because they know it's popular to hate me. And here's Mike projecting once again. She's gonna clip this part of the show. She's gonna put it on her Twitter and say, the impulsive boys mm -hmm. think my conservative speeches offends them. So they, hold on. So they deleted our episode. Like this is liberal brainwashing. Okay, that's exactly what, I know exactly how this girl works, how every piece she moves on the puzzle or on the chessboard works. Actually, Mike, I know exactly how leftists like you work. You had the opportunity to debate me and your own followers said your ideas were awful and that you did a terrible job making your arguments. You are ashamed that you wanted to bring me out there to make me look bad, but only discredited yourself. That's why you have to lie about me and delete the podcast and selectively edit clips of me. You don't want people to know who I am or what I actually stand for. You want people to believe certain things about me, which is why you won't actually show what happened at Pride and why you won't show your audience how I get treated for simply just existing. Dude, stop! Stop it, you f Excuse you! Yep, call him, call him. Cause you're walking right to me. You walked up to us! Back! Go to ...to go to their House of Representatives office and demand... Don't touch me! Get it out of my face, get out of my face. Hey, get it out of my face! This is the tolerant left right you're here. You're not videotaping me. Yep. Wait, why can't I touch it? Because it's not your property. Hey, why? Don't Wait, why? Because you <laughs> made it fast. So this guy just told the golf cart to roll to run me over. We're over. Video cameras. Hey. Link video cameras. Hey. Link people. Hey, back the. Go. Go. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Oh, 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 o
I get treated the way I do and constantly record interactions such as these because people like you mislead your audience about me, which causes them to get violent when they see me. You can't blame me for how low IQ brainwashed teenagers react to my presence. You should blame yourself. Which is ironic because Logan says I get exactly what I deserve when I go out and film. Mad viral on Twitter and has for the past, I think like week or two weeks, just, just for like hassling people and people um, handling her appropriately the way that she probably like deserves to be handled. Now this is coming from the same guy who got spit on a few weeks ago and called it disrespectful. If I deserve it, do you Logan? Oh, no, <laughs> no spitting isn't physical, but in that's just disrespectful. It's it's disrespectful. Ugh. Also, there, there there's uh, potential. I think it's assault charges. Spitting on someone is probably the highest level of disrespect. Did you just spit on me? Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Handling her appropriately the way that she probably like deserves to be handled. Spitting on someone is probably the highest level of disrespect. The way that she probably like deserves to be handled. What a big 180 from a year ago when Logan and Mike looked into their camera and told people to stop harassing both my fiance and myself. Threats, do you receive hate for being with her? Oh yes. He's got the oh mob. yes, people have told him that they will find me, rape me and make him watch. That's that's not that's, that's terrible. Not, yeah, that's that's, not okay. uh, are you scared, Caitlin? I when you go outside. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I it's daunting. It's very telling that the same guys that expressed concern for my safety a year ago and know I get contacted by the FBI over credible threats against my life now say that I get what I deserve. Uh, the FBI called me when I was heading to the Airbnb yesterday. The, the FBI called me. Does that me. happen a lot? It's happened once Why? before because they had a credible threat against me. If you're out there and you're gonna give Caitlyn sh in a public setting and like call her names or threaten her, don't f do that. The way that she probably like deserves to be handled. This is why they pulled the podcast. So they could control the narrative about me and destroy any evidence they have of me behaving the exact opposite of what they want people to think of me. Unfortunately for them, you can still go watch the podcast in its entirety at the link here. And since it's pulled from their channel, you'll be able to both see the truth and not have to worry about giving them any clicks. I'm convinced they also deleted the podcast to try to impress Russell Brand, who is a well-known communist. But sadly for them, Russell Brand had no clue who I was. Do you have well, any thoughts done. on, do you know the girl, Caitlin Bennett? Everything I know about Caitlin Bennett, I learned just then. Imagine bringing on an internationally known entertainer and making your first question to him about Caitlin Bennett. I live so rent-free in Mike's head that out of all the things to ask Russell Brand, this is the most important question for him to ask. For being so ashamed of me, they sure love to randomly bring me up, even in other podcast episodes. Is there anybody you'd like to see age faster and just move more towards I would, I would less talking? I would love in the next year for Caitlin Bennett Gun Girl to look like a full-on grandmother and just be interviewing people at pep rallies like, <laughs> What do you think about abortion? <laughs> <laughs> just like, yo, Caitlin, sh shut the f up, give it up. If you're so ashamed of me, why did you need to clip up this part of your podcast and upload it as its own video, titling it, Logan Paul speaks on Caitlin Bennett going viral again? Why did you wait a whole year after you interviewed me and nine months after I went to Pride to feel ashamed of me? Why did you conveniently wait until I went viral again to feel ashamed of me? I'm so ashamed ashamed of the fact that we interviewed Caitlyn Bennett. So I'm going to remind everyone that we interviewed Caitlyn Bennett and make a whole new video about Caitlyn Bennett. And I don't want her to get another million views, which is why I'm reminding my 20 million subscribers of who Caitlyn Bennett is. Not only did your subscribers think I wrecked you guys on guns, but they also think you're idiots for deleting the podcast. Feel shame over having her as a guest goes to delete the episode, then makes a clip from the podcast talking about her, giving her attention, and tagging her with hashtags. Makes zero sense. Oh look, it's the beta boys who got owned by Caitlyn Bennett on gun rights. So let me get this right. You delete her video that you already got your views from, then load another video about her to show what? All about that money, boy. You sure showed her, Logan. Caitlyn rocks. She has more guts in her little finger than all three soy boys put together. Thank you, Caitlyn, for exposing these people. They even admit you are not safe. Amazing. If Logan and Mike are that obsessed with me, 
I challenge them to bring me back on their show for another debate. I challenge you, Mike and Logan, to have some integrity and show everyone what actually happened at Pride, instead of clipping up two minutes out of my three videos there. And I challenge you to tell me to my face why you think I get the treatment I deserve. You have my number, Logan. I'll be waiting for your phone call to set it up. I have absolutely no shame in any of my beliefs or any of my videos, but you have to live with the shame of sleeping with porn stars, the shame of living a fake life for popularity, and the shame of knowing you screwed up by filming a dead body. I think that's a lot worse than a 24-year-old girl supporting your right to self-defense. But then again, I don't have holes in my brain. This is my brain, right? Oh. I got holes in your brain. I got, I got holes in my brain. You know, living the rest of your life with this brain is not going to be a lot of fun for you or for the people who love you. Just like in the boxing ring, Logan, you're a f loser. From the United Kingdom, the night If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett and receive super cool perks like an autographed photo from me in the mail each month. Or you can go to CaitlinBennett.org and get up to 75% off and free shipping on supplements and merchandise to support my work and start living a healthy life. My favorite product is Turbo Force because it gives me all the energy I need to make it through a long day of doing interviews. And check out the website Band.Video to see uncensored content from conservative creators that have been erased from social media.